Well, this was once an old school bus, but it's been transformed into a very large food truck. But while there's no cooking on board the bus now, the food being delivered meets all the national requirements. But most importantly, it helps fill empty stomachs. Monday through Thursday, Flo Moore and Angie Perkins hit the road in their converted school bus. And each day they make four stops, open up the window, and prepare to greet hungry children. Good morning. Y'all ready for lunch? Hundreds of brown bags to be handed out. And what's inside might surprise some. Today we have teriyaki chicken with rice, broccoli. We have fresh fruit and um, milk and juice, and we have grilled cheese sandwiches. For the children. There you go. All right. I'll see you back tomorrow. Right? It's more than just food. That is a very healthy nutrition meal. For some parents. My daughter loves it. This program has multiple benefits. I think it's really good they do this for the community because a lot of um, children, they don't get to eat healthy meals. Another plus is for the first time, the food is going out into the community. We know there are a lot of kids who are um, home at summer or you know, with a relative maybe don't have transportation to get to the nearest feeding site, um, but that need to have that healthy meal is still there. Uh, so with the mobile food truck option that the schools have come up with now, they've been able to, uh, to meet that need. And it is here where it is needed the most. While the city of Hopewell has participated in the past in a summer feeding program, this food truck is unique in getting food to more children in need. As for the cost, it's a state program that's using federal funds to pay for the food. As for the food truck, it's going to run through August 24th and is averaging right now about 225 meals per day. Working for you in Hopewell, Wayne Koval.